Michael Candy, a new media artist from Australia. My practice focuses on nature and natural systems and uses technology as a medium to translate or interact with these systems, such as a synthesizer controlled by a volcano to robotic flowers that interact with bees. Big Dipper is a kinetic light sculpture I built on a residency in Fort Kochi in India in 2014. This work is unique in that it is not interactive, it's purely descriptive, it's very uh, analog and repetitive. The name Big Dipper hails from the constellation the Big Dipper, which I think in French is La Grande Douce. People often say or see it as an insect or uh, some kind of deep sea creature, but to me, like uh, in that context, I'd see Big Dipper as like a creature of the universe. Like, what would something be like? What would a constellation be if it was alive? Or what would a space creature look like? Maybe. The symbology throughout the mechanics of Big Dipper, such as a helix, which could be seen as DNA or uh, a measurement of biology, and the lights clearly make a waveform each time that this helix rotates, and that is, of course, a measurement of light, which is how science and physics kind of measures matter in the universe. So these two elements, which are fundamental to the actual motion and, and core of the work, are very much about stars and how stars are the kilns of the universe kind of creating this matter in life. Le lauréat du prix cube est Michael Candy, Big Dipper. Thank you so much. I can't believe this. I think it's amazing. I, I've been totally blown away uh, at just the scale of this exhibition and everyone's been on their own sort of tangent to develop these projects and there's no sort of format of curation, it's, it's more just about the selection of the works they thought were the best, which is really cool. Like, I, I don't think I've been in many shows where only being new media is like the thing linking the works. There's normally some kind of narrative and this is a really cool show. Later this year, I will be traveling to Kathmandu in Nepal. Um, there's a robotic society that have agreed to work with me on a project exploring spiritualism in robotics, which is going to be very interesting. I'm not totally sure what will come out of that, but um, it's, yeah, that's my next project, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>